Hello. Hello. Okay, so we have found some really interesting things, different things. Yeah, we? Diff really different things today, and we're really excited to do the research already. Like we found some really good stuff, haven't we? Yeah. So, what are we waiting for? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. So we literally just got down here and the very first thing I've spot is here. Look. Can you tell what it is? By the outside, I can. Oh look. That's really pretty. Oh I don't we don't I've not seen that, that pattern before, but it's a little black glass button. <coughs> Dress button or a glove button little buttons like this are really common it's a really intricate pattern as well it's really nice lovely we're off to a good start already my first find is down here and you see it it's a cod marble it's so shiny that's beautiful my second find is another cod marble. But you know what I say, you can't have too many cod marbles. Looks like a knobbly pipe bowl here. Oh yeah, look at that. It is chipped though, so I might leave that for someone else because we already have some. Tiny seed bead under there. It's crazy how far away I spot it from. Oh my goodness, I can't even grab it. Oh, there it is. It's a little opalescent one, I think. Right, well, I think you probably know what this is. A little bone disc off dummies and feeding bottles. Got quite a few of them now. We can pair them up with the dummy handles and recreate them but I've also found a few beads up here don't know how whole they are or how interesting they are yes a little blue one look it's a little uh oh I'm not sure it's a little um cane cut drawn glass bead and there's another one there look I think it's a bead Oh, it was a bead, but it's melted. It's just a melted blob now. Leave that one behind, I think. I've got one at least. Is this a bead? I think it might be. Yes, it's a bead. A lovely blue wound, I think. Wound bead. Fantastic. What's this bottle here? Oh, I quite like that. It's a sheer top. And it has something on the bottom. Um, what does it say? It says... Oh, Carlsbad. It's Carlsbad Sprudel Salts. We found one of these before. They were um, salts from Carlsbad, I think in Germany. And they were put into bottles so you could add it to water to make your own mineral water. So that is cool. I quite like that. Right, Alex is saying, no way, no way, and that is a sign for me to come over and see what she's no waying about. What have you found? I haven't picked it up yet. Um, I think it's a whole one of those little, like, of those oh. cake Oh, covers. you were saying.
thing. We've never found a whole one. Oh, no, it's not a hole. It's not oh, got any no. feet. It hasn't got feet, but... Oh, it's almost we, whole, though. We have some feet. We have loads of the feet. We have loads that, of the feet. Look, she's got her hands in a muff. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, she no. doesn't even really need feet. Yeah, I suppose she could just stand like that. Yeah. She's a bit crusty as well, but we've got feet that I can, like, reattach to her. At least it's... It's still Almost not, whole. It's still not a complete whole one, so I can't say it's a whole one. So I'm gonna have to keep looking. <laughs> oh no! It's still nice though. Yeah. I just found another wonderful crystal. Look at this. So pretty. I'm gonna keep that. Just a random little brass thing I put on my finger, but. I saw a bit of porcelain down here and I flipped it over and look, it's a dog. It's like a old greyhound's face or something. I think it has, it had something in its mouth. Probably a bird or something. It's been quite a large figurine. And up here, I spot something as well. It's a pipe. Whoa. That's a heart pipe. In good condition. Oh, that's weird. There's another one of those brass rings that I have on my finger. I've got a nice little collection here. I think that's a bone button, a tin button. Ah, bead, which almost escaped. And that, look, is off like a parasol or a brolly. It's still got like one of the spoky bits attached to it. How cool is that? And down here I've just got another bead. But my hand's too full. No, there we go. Okay, another bead. Right, I'll have to put this away. crazy this one is oh <laughs> what on earth look that's a bead whoa it's pink and I actually think that it's it's a little drawn one as well but I think it's like it's like two layers in it it's like a white heart that's crazy look at it <laughs> I love them. I think it's another cod marble, is it? No, it's not. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I thought it was a cod marble. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Antique German marble. Boom. Fantastic. Alex will know what type it is. I'm going to take it over to her. Alex? What? What I found it? this marble. Oh, yes. It's a something that. core. It's a, a, a lattice core swell marble. Lattice core swell marble. <laughs> Could get it out there. Oh, that's wonderful. Isn't it? Look, can see the pontal there. Pontal, yeah. It's green I and... thought it was a cod marble. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it's it? It's green and... Red, red and, and kind of orange and there's a bit of yellow in there as well. Yeah. That's fantastic. Nice. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Not sure what these are. Some sort of lid. Probably held on with I don't know, tied down or something. Oh wow, look at that. Down there, can you see it? Oh wow, it's pink. It's a little 
drawn glass bead, pink and white. It's like three layered drawn glass bead. Wow, three layered striped drawn bead. And it's pink and it's like blue on the inside, like a baby blue. I'm on a lucky streak of these. I found like three, I think. One of the last times we were here, the, the time before last. No, four. Wow, that's so beautiful. It's tiny, but beautiful. Love that. That'll go on our little trade bead string. So I just found this and it's the bottom of a blue bottle. But what's interesting about it is it has a pontal mark. That was the rod that held it. And these marks are usually on much older bottles. Bottles that weren't blown into a mold. They were just handmade. So that's tragic. <laughs> oh, I'd love to find a whole pontal bottle. I might keep that actually. I wonder if I could cut that out. Because that's and it's a lovely colour, so yeah, I might keep that. Down here is a tiny, tiny bead. Can you see it yet? <laughs> there it is, look. Teeny. Go on our tiny beads bead string. It's a button. Metal one. I can't see what's on it and I'm frightened to touch it in case it falls apart, so I'll have to see when we get home and clean it up. This looks like a piece of old Victorian school slate. You see how it's got the squares? It should have lines on the other side. Yeah, lines on the other side. The writing. I can't see them now, I've wet it. <laughs> What's this? Oh wow, look at that. It's, oh gosh, I'm gonna break it. Oh look at the back. It's been something like a brooch or something. It's like silvered glass. Goldy even, golded, silvered four-leaf clover but I could make something with that so I like it that's lovely another pipe bowl oh it's well chipped well chipped on both sides look how beautiful this bowl would have been with its gilding beautiful pattern Okay, down here I think I can see a white heart trade bead. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. We always love finding these. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, it's a little dog with no body, no legs. It's just his head. It's like a little King Charles Spaniel. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh my goodness, look down here. Oh, it's she oh, hole. Look. Uh, she looks hot. <gasps> this. Turn her over. Oh, oh my goodness. She's, she's, she's complete. <laughs> well, I say she's complete. She's got her legs and a head and a bonnet. But we might have some arms that would go on her, you know. She's got little pink lips and a little bow around oh, her look around no, her neck. That's so cute. We found these before, haven't we? But not. I don't think we found one that small. No. We'll have to show you the other ones we've got in com so you can compare. But are that's not amazing. Old, though, are they? No. Well, yes. Not with the bonnet. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, oh. yeah. You found one. No, oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to show you them. But that is amazing. I'm chuffed with that. Okay, I saw this as well down here. It looks like the rim of a pipe bowl look. And there was a bit of resistance, so. 
Oh, it's just the ball. And it's got a heart on it. Of course it does. It's in really good condition though, so I'll take it. And I love this. This is my find of the day so far. There's a blue thing here. It looks like looks like a lid. Well, that's cool. I quite like that. A pipe ball. Another heart. Right, do I find another one? I'm not going to even bother filming it. I'm sure everyone's bored of heart pipes by now. We love them, of course. Love these little pipes. A brass thing there. Oh. Looks like it was some kind of clip. Oh, is that like is that a clod marble? Melted, looks like a met. Oh, no, what? I thought that was a marble. <laughs> oh my goodness, I thought it was a marble. I swore that was a melted cod marble. It's a wee little head. Oh, fantastic. Wow. I think this is a good spot. It feels like um, some stuff's been washed out by the heavy rain we've had recently, so. Bottle's sticking out there, look. It's plain. Okay, well, I'm gonna give this area a good scour because, oh, watch winder. See that? Watch key. Oh, and it has something on it. That might be a local watchmaker and jeweler. It's a number nine. I can't read it right now, but keep hold of that as well. Oh, um, the day has really started to pick up. What's this? The bottom of the bottle, is it a hole? Oh my goodness. Oh wow, it's got writing on it. It says, Holling, Hollings. Oh wow, I like that. Hollings, I think it says. Oh, look at that, it's so cute. I don't think we've got one like that either. That's fantastic. When I found this lovely little ink bottle in the low light beneath the trees, I thought it was green. Imagine our delight when we got it home and discovered it was actually a beautiful shade of blue. Embossed into the glass is the name Hollidge and initial research revealed that these bottles are quite rare, especially in blue. The original paper label would have read Digby's London Penny Ink, registered bottle, Factory 17, Wharf Road, City Road North, E.J. Hollidge, proprietor. Of course, this made me wonder who Digby was, but my first job was to research E.J. Hollidge. Edward Jackson Hollidge was born in 1832 in Hull, Yorkshire, to Elizabeth Jackson and tea dealer Edward Hollidge, who had a thriving business in the marketplace in Kingston-upon-Hull. Young Edward joined his father in the business, and in 1861 they are described as master tea dealers employing two men and a boy. So it seems strange that just a year later they sold their business lock, stock and barrel to a Charles Johnson. Alfred Wyatt Digby was born in Malden in Essex, also in 1832. His father was a solicitor, lawyer in the USA, but Alfred was apprenticed to a printer. By 1861, he had a stationery business on Chancery Lane, London, and was employing three men and two boys. Business must have been good because in 1865, a newspaper advertisement appears for A.W. Digby & Co's prize inks, including his London penny ink. And who is acting as their Yorkshire agent? None other than Edward Jackson Hollidge. But then, in 1867, poor Digby declares himself bankrupt, and we find him in 1871, at the age of 39, working for his father as a solicitor's clerk. Hollidge, however, has since moved to London with his wife, children and father and is an ink manufacturer, employing two men, two boys 
and the proud owner of Digby's prize-winning London Inc. Don't worry about Digby. He went on to become a solicitor in his own right and at the age of 50 married a woman half his age. It wasn't all plain sailing for the Hollidge family though. Three of Edward's sons, James Frederick and Arthur, took over the business. However, James left to return later as a manager. In 1901, James was charged for threatening to shoot his younger brother Frederick. What it was all about we can only imagine, but happily he didn't go through with his threat. So, all's well that ends well in the dog-eat-dog -dog world of Victorian business. I think I've spotted a bead down here as well, look. Is it whole? I found one before but it was not whole. Yes, it is! It's a bead! Gorgeous. And of course I found some um, pipe bowls that <laughs> I've got in my hand that I haven't filmed. Oh, I had the camera on already, but there's a massive heart bowl pipe. Look at the size of that. Oh, and it's got a hand. Yes, look, it's got a hand and a heart. And we think that might be the right hand of Ulster. Or the red hand of Ulster, rather. Oh, there's another one. It's a heart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep finding pipe bowls. Okay, so um, today, today actually is turning out to be a really good day. I've just found two more bottles. We've got a stoneware bottle, which may have been, may have been paint, glue, ink, could have been anything. And look at this, a giant hexagonal ink bottle. Bare slip, how cool is that? It's actually getting dark, so I'm really like speed running this area because look behind me, look, lots of treasures to find. So let's continue. Something down here that I recognize, <laughs> it's a pipe bowl. Oh, unfortunately it's broken, but I found one of these not that long ago. I'll leave it for someone else because I've already got one and that one's a little bit broken. This piece of glass. Oh my goodness. It's a handle. It's all it's all knobbly like like wood. <laughs> you see that? Look. I'm gonna keep that because if nothing else, I could make beads out of it. It's really interesting. It it's like the handle off something. And a really shiny cod marble. Look at the shine on that. Got the chip out of it, but it's really like greeny, really beautiful. And I've just found a cod marble as well. And Mum's just found a cod marble. That's weird. Two, one after the other. Alex just found one. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yours is shinier than mine. Oh, but <laughs> mine's got a chip out of it there. Look. Oh, mm, I win. You win. <laughs> What's this? Oh no, it's got no head or feet. I was um, digging down here, I saw something, it looks like it being crushed by someone's foot or something. Um, and there's a little head and I'm pretty sure that's Jesus. At least an old fashioned depiction of Jesus. Mm. He's a bit muddy. You're looking a bit rough there, Jesus. And a pipe bowl and a bottle stop as well. Ink. Is it whole? Oh, wow, yes. It's not got a chip out of it. That's brilliant. That may be another bead waiting down there. It is. And I found this. It's a knobble pipe. Knobbly pipe bowl. Try and get the mud out because I don't want to take that home with us. There. And yet another bead. A beautiful big green one this time. Gorgeous. Just spot something over here at the corner of my eye as well. 
I think we've found one of these before. It was like a little cart or car made of pressed glass. I think it was made in the northeast. One of the northeast glass makers, which is really cool. Northeast of England. And what's that? Oh, it's like a little knob thing. Is this another ink bottle? Yes, look. Oh no, it's got a big chunk out the corner. Mm, I have to leave it. Just picked up this um, this brass thing. It's quite heavy. I'm just thinking that might clean up nice. Not sure what it is though. Maybe a a lid, like a screw on end for something. It's a nice stoneware there. No chips or cracks. What's this? No names on it. Sauce bottle. I thought I'd film this because this is my fourth pipe bowl in a row. Look. <laughs> and they're all in really good condition, so I have to take them. Oh no. Okay, so I'll show you what I've got. I've actually found i got a tiny little bottle. I'm not supposed to be taking bottles, but I've taken it anyway. Mum takes them, so I get to have a, a, a go. Um, I actually found this modern pendant. Little star. Um, but the interesting thing I found is actually here. It's like some kind of token. got writing on there but it might be too far gone there's something on there is it like a train trees I can't oh I can't read it it's really difficult I don't know it's some like commemorative medal of some kind it might be really interesting, so I'm going to take it anyway. But actually, as I was talking out the corner of my eye, can you see that blue thing there? I'm pretty sure that is, oh my goodness, look at that. That is a funky bead, look at that. Oh, cool. That's really funky. Oh, so two really interesting finds there. That might be something really interesting. I'm really struggling to see what it is. Might be able to work something out on there when we clean it up because, oops. Because it is still very muddy, but. No. Great find though. After cleaning, we were able to make out enough of what was embossed on this metal disc to be able to identify it. It's a medallion commemorating the launch in 1895 of the ship HMS Powerful and reads HMS Powerful with a depiction of the ship and CG Ilef Jeweler on one side and built-in NC and A Co Baron Finesse launched July 24, 1895 on the other. HMS Powerful was a four-funneled, first-class armoured cruiser which was built by the Naval Construction and Armaments Co. Limited in Baron Furness, Lancashire. At the time, she and her sister ship, HMS Terrible, were the largest warships in the world. It had 48 boilers in eight boiler rooms and was equipped with 42 guns and four submerged torpedo tubes but the powerful had a short career and was soon outclassed by bigger and better ships. In 1915, only 20 years after she was launched, she was sold for scrap. The medallion itself was made by local jeweler, Charles George Eilif. He was born in Coventry in 1846, the son of a watch engraver and later watchmaker. 
Charles Eilif and his wife Rebecca. Charles Sr. employed both his sons and his daughter as watch engravers. His daughter Hannah remained as a watch engraver until her death at the age of 48 in 1880. Charles George Eilif moved to Baron Furness sometime after 1891 where he set up his business as a jeweller and watchmaker and could have been commissioned to produce the medallions to be presented to the workers in the shipyard who had worked on the ship. Strange ball shaped thing there. Might be a knob. Ooh. Oh no wait, it's not. It's actually a stopper. Oh that's weird, I had a funny feeling about that. Yeah, look, it's a ceramic bottle stop. And I actually found a glass one as well, just before it. I think it, I'm not sure what it is. E knows, yeah, I was gonna say that. Two stoppers. Two quite different ones, actually. Look at that. Another crystal. These seem to be all over the place recently. Not sure if I should take that one. Looks pretty though. There's a bone ring here. Probably off a baby's dummy or feeding bottle. I thought this was broken, but I, I'm not sure if it is. I think it might have just had a top on the like a silver top or something, but look at that, that's lovely. Oh, that's pretty. Look, I think it just had a silver oh, top or yes. something on. Oh, it looks like it's burst, like a burst lip. Look. Yeah. That's weird, I've never seen a burst lip like that. So I think it had something on there. Mm. So yeah, I'm going to take that. Now I can see something hiding just there. Can you guess what it is by just looking at it? Sticking out? Oh, it's a beautiful one. It's a knuckle bone. Oh, wow, it's like really like, like a deep kind of amber color. It's beautiful. The game of many names, as you call it. Because depending on where you are, someone calls it a different, after something different. Jacks. Alley gobs, five stones. Yeah, that's a really nice one. That looks like the corner of a bone disc. Oh, it is. Oh, I found a broken one earlier, so. I found one as well. Mum's found one. We've got loads of them. And I found a dummy before. It was broken though, but still. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I've got an ear, of course, and this bit of pottery. <laughs> <laughs> like flipped over, it's a little piggy. <laughs> Looks like she's got a shawl on. That might be good for someone, you never know. Just pulled this out of the undergrowth. Another little stoneware. So that's nice. There is a lovely, <laughs> I think it's lovely, old blacksmith made hook with a bit of chain stuck to it. I'm going to take that home and see if I can hammer some of the rust off and loosen it up or ruin it. One of the two. So yeah, I'm going to take it. Little brown bottle here and oh, it's got writing on it. What does that say? It says, Wolfings? Wolfings? Four man. I can't read it. Four manning? Formation? It's getting dark. I don't know, but I'm going to take it because, yeah, I need to look that up. Embossed on this bottle is Wolfing's former mint. It once contained tablets, which they claim when sucked prevented diseases from entering the body. 
One advert of 1913 states, Don't let your children catch other children's diseases. No school is safe from sudden and dangerous epidemics. Protect your children. Give them formamint daily. Of course, these claims were untrue and the tablets would have at best soothed a sore throat. Giving parents the false belief that their children were safe was all in a day's work for the quack medicine manufacturer, and still is. Former Mint was first patented by the wonderfully named Johann Abraham von Wolfing. Unfortunately, on the outbreak of World War I, all his patents, which included Sonatogen, were declared void, resulting in his products being made by several different manufacturers around the world under his name. Our bottle probably dates from the early 20th century. See a bit of porcelain down here, actually, talking about porcelain. I found a swan and a bulldog and a shell, which is not porcelain, but still. There, it looks like it could be something. It might not be, but I'm going to look together. No. <laughs> well, it was a little teacup, but it's completely knackered now. There's nothing left of it. Oh, it's a bit of doll's head there. There's probably nothing left of this either. No, there's not. Well, at least I've got a swan. Swans were very popular in Victorian Britain for some reason. Is this a string of beads down here? It is. It's a little string of beads. Wow, I've never found a string of beads before. That's crazy. Oh, wow. What are they? Glass beads? I think so, oh, yeah. Yes, they are. That's amazing. Wow. I think <laughs> you've got the record for as many like necklace beads of Seven in one go. beads in one go. That's not bad, is it? That's brilliant. Oh, I love them. Fantastic. Wow, look. Literally like seven beads on it looks like a bit of chain, doesn't it? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> How good's that? Found that many like I know. necklace beads. We found a string of like Lampshade beads. Lampshade beads, yeah. But not necklace beads. So that's, that's brilliant. Amazing. You've you've actually like beat the record just now. That's great. Seven beads. In Seven there. beads, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that metally thing? Oh look, it's an escutcheon or a schnushkin, as I called them. Oh, that's a really fancy one as well. How cool is that? That would make a really good necklace. Brilliant. I found one of those terracotta figures, but it's just the head. It can make Aww. it into something though. It's a teddy bear's head. How cute. Poor teddy. And as if I haven't found enough beads, Here's another one. It's a similar size as well. Yeah, the, the light's coming on the camera because it's getting really dark and it's raining. <laughs> we really have to go home. Sometimes it's very hard to drag yourself away. It's a nice pipe bowl with a heart on it. Okay, this might be one of my final finds. It's a little doll's arm, look. It's funny because my first find was a doll and my last find is a piece of a doll. And I actually found this. Um, I'm gonna have to have to smash it. <laughs> Mum just said a drip just went down her neck because it's starting to really pour down. I'm gonna have to try and find a way of smashing this out of this bottle. I don't want to take the whole neck home, so I'm gonna have to find a rock. There aren't any. Oh wait. Ta-da! That worked. <laughs> Jody will be hanging a golden chain. It's not 
It is our massive wow. haul of finds. Yeah. I mean, just look how much we found. I know, it turned out, like, I, I didn't realise quite how much we'd found, but it's literally taken days to wash all this. <laughs> <laughs> People do ask us, how do we get our things so clean? And literally, it is just elbow It things. is. It is washing up liquid. Um, and a, technique, I think, as well. cleaner, just normal cleaning things, toothbrushes. We, we might make a video one day about yeah, how we clean yeah. our stuff because it, it really is just about technique that we've kind of, like, yeah. homed in on over the years. But, um, yeah, as you can see, we've got loads of the good stuff here all the good stuff fantastic Ooh. interesting different yes things. yeah i know and things we've not found before which it's really exciting finding new things we and look got so many heart pipes this <laughs> must be the biggest haul of heart pipes we've ever found no, in one go no but seriously all of the pipes we found were heart pipes all of them apart <laughs> from this knobbly pipe but all the rest of them this one's got the hand on it as you saw um, but that's that's mad. Anyway, we're going to talk about our favourite finds and then and a few other things as well. So I think my favourite find um, is Dolly. And I look, think Dolly's amazing. She cleaned up really nicely as well. She did. And I actually a special mention to this little medallion, which I'm really pleased with. Um, because yeah. it's something really unique. Like, it's a really unique history, isn't yeah, it? Interesting story behind it. Yeah. And what about you? Well, my favourite find has got to be my bottle. Yes, <laughs> yeah. The Hollage ink bottle. It's a pen rest. And this has a fascinating story oh. behind it, too. And it's blue. Yes, the colour of it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. And, and uh, there. There. Oh. I think the older pens were really narrow. They didn't get wider on the end yeah so just one width. this is a little bit later but it still yeah. rests on there look yeah it does there that's what why it's called a pen rest ink oh well this is also a boat ink but i think it looks like a little house i don't know why they call them boat inks because yeah. they don't look anything like doesn't boats. it but doesn't it doesn't yeah, it yeah they look more like houses don't you guys agree that looks like a little house look and, th <laughs> and then this is like the chimney. chimney yeah yeah anyway my <laughs> other favourite find, strangely, probably, to most yeah, people... Yeah, I know what that is. ...is the chain. I mean, <laughs> look at it. You oh, saw it wow. when I found it. It was just one rusty oh, lump. Can't show it with one hand. Or lusty rump. Lusty rump. <laughs> <laughs> and we have both worked on this. Yeah. I hammered off all the rust with a big hammer and then I worked on it with a little hammer and then Alex has scrubbed it. Yeah, several and times. And we've coated it with sort of a rust retardant. Yeah, so it's it's been treated now as well. And we're gonna use it to hang a plant hanger from off the ceiling. And we think it was part of a horse harness where it, they coupled the cart to the horse harness, some sort of thing like that. Yeah, anyway, you love chains anyway. I love chains, so I don't know why, I just love chains. Here we are with a big rusty chain on our table. And interestingly, um, <laughs> they were chain makers, but most of the smaller chains like this one were made by women. That's really interesting yeah, as well. Is. Yeah, it's like proper blacksmith made, it's chains. really beautiful. Beautiful, wrought iron. You don't get things made like that anymore. <laughs> um, and another thing that we were going to mention, what was it? I've actually forgotten. Oh, this. Oh, this. This is an amazing coincidence. Yeah, it I is. I found this and Alex said, that looks familiar. Yeah, when I was editing the video, I was like, I recognise that. 
And um, because a like three months ago we filmed a video and I found this, and we've realised it actually matches up. We about know, there, we know that it matches up, even though one's gilded and one isn't. Yeah, the gilding's come off the other bit, because if you turn it over. The way the glass has creased and swirled. Yeah, the way it's been made. The swirls match up. Yeah, so it's it might be difficult to see on the yeah, camera, is it? Probably can't see. Yeah, can you but kind of see do. where that swirl kind of matches up there and then goes around and then like connects back up? See that? But how incredible. We're not sure what it was though. Was it like a buckle or something? Or a hair decoration or a brooch? Yeah, so they must have been broken and then thrown away, and we just so happened to find... Yeah, like, months apart. <laughs> and it looked like there was three clovers. There was one in the middle that's the obviously like broken, clovers, yeah. and then my hands are a little bit stained from... <laughs> from working on the chain. The chain. Um, but yeah, what a crazy coincidence that happened to be. And I've actually forgot to mention, I've actually bought... Uh, an original necklace of which mum's beaded chain would have been part of. I accidentally saw it for sale online and accidentally. I accidentally, yeah, it was accident. accident. It was a complete accident. It. I accidentally like bought it. <laughs> it's not here yet, but we'll have to show you in maybe yeah. like our next video. But yeah, that I had to I had to because it, it, yeah, anyway. <laughs> this is an interesting find as well. It's oh, sort yeah. of a screw on metal lined uh, glass lid in blue. And crystals as well. I wanted to mention this crystal because I don't think it's quartz. Because the termination the point of the crystals is not it's like... It's different. Yeah. yeah, it's not the same shape as like a quartz point. It's on hematite. This is quartz. This is a mystery. Yeah, they're different shaped crystals. So if anyone knows... We might have to look into that a little bit more, but it's really cool anyway. Oh, and there's my German marble. It's oh, a bit bashed up. It is a little bit rough. But it's still interesting. And loads of cod marbles. And this bottle. It isn't broken. It's got the burst lip on the top, and it would have had a metal cover on there for yeah. the lid. Um, We've not found one like that before, so that's... I don't know. Vinegar. Yeah. Or something. Perfume. Don't know. But, I mean, to be honest, we can stand here for about an hour just going through all the finds, can we? It'd take forever. I love this knobbly handle. I know, and I like this. Look, I found that ring. You know what I was talking about in the video? I said, oh, I've been walking around with this random ring on my finger. And it, it turns out to be Ooh. like a cross-hatch design. And I think it was like a split ring. And uh, that's the pocket watch winder. And anyway, oh, and that gotcha. bead. Look. Mum and, and I a both found a bead. And a and Jesus. baby's dummy. And a dummy. And <laughs> all the dummy and bottle rings. Yeah. Which I know we show you all the time, but we've got them actually dangling here in the window. Look. There they are. The, yeah. the ring. And there's the handle. And there's the handle. Cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to leave it here because we would like blabber on all day. And I love or, that dog's face. Yeah. I think it was carrying like a bird or something. Oh. I know. Just so many things that we can't talk no. forever about. I know. Them. We don't oh, want to wait. Bore people. <laughs> okay, one more thing to mention. These are all the cake decorations that I found, and as you can see, all of them are broken. And um, this is what I was talking about when I said I thought it was whole, but she's actually missing her feet. But we seem to have quite a lot of feet there. Yeah, we do. So, <laughs> like, which one? Hmm. Small one. This one. Look. You could oh, glue yes, that on there. Look at that. You could glue that on there. Perfect that. match. But one day I might find a whole one. I thought that was a whole one, this so I got a bit excited. It's but pretty close to a whole. It one. is. And I found a terracotta teddy body. Yeah. And a separate head, but of a different one. Yeah, so that's a teddy and a human. Hopefully, we'll find a. Yeah, we have a few of these broken ones, of course. Yeah. Most Crack of the they thing. were used as crackerjack toys. Yeah, and this this one's larger, so this was probably like a whistle. The bottom of it would have been a little whistle. And don't forget Jesus. Oh yeah, we've already That's mentioned quite a Jesus. Nice, uh, face on that. He might make a pendant if we set him in silver. Anyway, yeah. anyway, anyway we're leave it at that. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's huge, everything. That's our huge haul for this week. Wow. So we've had a really really successful day today yeah we have um we haven't been here for a long time we haven't been on down to the foreshore for like a month have we no so it's 
like yeah it's left a lot of things left for us to find and we're i'm so pleased it's a bit of a rainy day <laughs> yeah but we had to come out because the forecast is just non-stop rain so I yeah know. we've been lucky it's not <laughs> raining that much but it's starting to it's come down now it's raining now and it's getting dark so we're gonna have to be off but it's been really successful and i don't regret coming out no, whatsoever never regret so, coming out no <laughs> so um yeah, on that note, we're going to say goodbye and thank you. So thank you to everyone who has watched the video up to this point. You've yes. stuck around with us this long. And all of the subscribers. I mean, we have hit 90k oh, yes. yeah, we have, uh, we? since we last spoke to you, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So thank you so much thank to you. everyone who's subscribed to our channel. And the next big... Um, Milestone. Milestone. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. The next big milestone, of course, is 100,000. Yes. So uh, if you subscribe, yeah. you'll help us to reach that, and it really does help our channel. It does, it does. And of course, a big thank you to everyone who leaves a comment, because we do yeah. read through all your comments. We just don't have the time to reply to all of your comments. We try. <laughs> um, but yeah, also, patrons. Which are here. here, they're coming up down here right All now. All our amazing patrons yes. on Patreon who help to keep us going every month. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll see you again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.